Well, it's about that time. The rig is absolutely filthy. Um, it's thousands of miles, windstorms, rainstorms, dust storms, uh, just a little bit of everything caked on it. So uh, I wanna give that a good scrub down today. And uh, uh, I wanna talk to you guys about sealants. I'm gonna check a lot of the, the seams and joints and whatnot and make sure that we're not having any potential leaks, be able to head off any problems before we have them. So uh, we're gonna get started on that. Oh, Chris is over there laughing at me uh, because I just noticed that my bucket says Walmart Sam's Club white buttercream icing. I guess it's a bucket, oh well. But the tip that I wanna share with you um, for washing the roof, because so many people forget to start with the roof and uh, they just wash the sides, they wash the front. I mean, I, I, I wash the front all the time because when we travel, I hate having the bugs caked on the front and uh, stuck on there, it feels like forever. So um, I usually try and get those off quickly. But the roof, they say, is something that you wanna clean often because you're able to see kind of if you have any cracks forming or any issues that need uh, to be addressed or if you need to reseal it, if your, um, you know, your rubber membrane is, is starting to turn black or getting some spotting, um, you wanna address those things as you get there. But I've been told to use the granular tide instead of the, the liquid. And uh, um, I don't know why Tide is the one of choice, but that's even what I'm hearing from the manufacturers. So we're gonna throw some of this in the bucket and uh, hop up on the roof and get washing. So now that we have everything cleaned and prepped and we can kind of see our seams and whatnot and some of the problem areas that we might have, uh, now we can actually get down to business and do some of that preventative maintenance so that we don't have massive repair bills down the road uh, because that's never fun. And again, this is not a paid advertisement by any means. These are just products that I have used, that I have liked, that have uh, been well worth it for us. So we just want to pass along this information. So on the siding, um, I'm gonna be using uh, this Dicor product. It's a lap sealant, but the, the crucial part is here, it's non-leveling. So um, it, it means that it's not gonna ooze down the side of your trailer as you're putting it on. It's gonna have some uh, form to it and you're gonna be able to uh, rub it into the seam that you have there and create a nice even flow on this caulking. So um, this is a, a great product and it's gonna be good for your fiberglasses, your aluminums, your metals, different things like that. Uh, this is gonna be the product you wanna use on the side of the trailer. And then they also have another product that I'm gonna be using later on the roof, um, and it's a self-leveling product. Um, we had some, you know, like a Henry's type of a product used when uh, the previous owner had a leak, and uh, they just didn't know that this was the stuff that you're supposed to use. Now, when you use something like a, a Henry's product that's like an asphalt kind of a solution, uh, the, the rubber roof membrane that we have up there is actually gonna reject that over time. And uh, that's what some of the issues we've had in the past. This one's not leaking yet, but I know that it's eventually those corners are gonna start curling and I just need to pull it off, uh, clean it as best I can, get it down to that rubber roofing and uh, go ahead and put this self-leveling on. Now, any of these repairs or these preventative maintenance things that you're gonna do, you wanna make sure you do plenty of prep work. When I'm doing the stuff on the side of the trailer, I get in there with a razor blade and I cut out the caulk I'll even possibly, if there was silicone or something like that uh, used previously, I'll wanna get a tiny piece of sandpaper and fold it and put it in the crack, make sure that my surfaces are ready to receive the caulking that I put on there. 
Uh, but again, these products, I'm gonna put links in the description because uh, they're made for RVs and they're, they're perfect for what you're doing when you're working on your rig, when you're working on your, your trailer. So um, you wanna make sure to use the right product so that you're not doing this over and over. It's not fun to do this multiple times. You only wanna do it once and years down the, the road when it needs it again, you can do it then, but you don't wanna keep doing it because you're using the wrong product. So um, we're gonna go ahead and scrape it out and sand it up just a tiny bit. You don't wanna make a big mess of it and uh, get this product installed with, you can see this thing that is used over the years. So uh, we're gonna get these seams ready for the coming years. When you need to do some cleanup with this stuff, you want to go ahead and use some kind of like mineral spirits or something like that because water is not gonna touch this stuff. Although you do want your surface to be dry uh, when you're applying this. You, you wanna make sure that there is no moisture in there to get a, a good seal and that it's not gonna rain on it for, you know, hopefully a day. Uh, let it get a, a good cure before you get it um, out in the rain. So um, I hope this helps. And uh, if you want more tips, tricks, and product reviews coming up, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and uh, we will catch you later. Yeah.